It may be hard to watch, but when NBC re-airs the women's gymnastics team finals in prime time, Johnny Tower hopes you don't look away. It really is, uh, I think, a remarkable moment in sports and one that I hope sparks a dialogue, um, continuing to advocate for the importance of mental health. Tower is a professor of sports psychology and head men's basketball coach at the University of St. Thomas and says we owe it to the next generation to prioritize and talk about the stresses and injuries we can't see, even if it's not easy. I think one of the things that we can do as parents is just simply listen and ask questions and also share that none of us have all the answers, right? We're not in that position. And so every person's existence and every person's mental health and physical health is unique and different. For Simone to step away, she's the expert. She's the best at what she does and she knows herself better than anyone. And even in stepping away, he says, Biles showed how a champion can still step up and lift up her teammates, including Minnesota's own Suni Lee, who excelled in the spotlight and taught us all a lesson lesson in resilience. I think this is one of those moments where young people can look at and maybe not fully understand why Simone stepped away, but then also watching how she did support her teammates, how they handled this unpredictable, adverse situation with grace and class. And at the end of the day, as parents, what more would we want from watching Olympics with our kids, right? It's great to see somebody win a gold medal. But frankly, it's those other lessons that are going to be learned that are going to serve most kids because most kids aren't going to win a gold medal, but they are going to have to deal with tough stuff in life. And how do you stick together and how do you deal with that, that adversity? Well, it's unclear if Biles will compete in Thursday's all around event where she is the defending champion. And, you know, it's hard to imagine her getting back out there and doing this. But I will say I, we were sure proud of all our Minnesota athletes, particularly SUNY Lee, Grace McCallum. Everybody just really stepped up. And when they had the spotlight suddenly on them, did such a phenomenal job. The way they stepped up to the plate was so incredible. And also, as he pointed out, to watch Simone there on the sidelines. Stick around. Cheering for yep. them in her warm ups. That was really an impressive yeah. moment, yeah. too. Again, that will re-air tonight in prime time if you want to see it. And we have all the games at care11.com slash Olympics, including results, Minnesota athlete updates, and links to live streams. So tune in tonight at 7 when we'll re-air coverage of the women's gymnastics team final, and we'll have swimming finals live.